Jesus Christ, about time. Actually, I think that one was a little quicker than uh, Ren's was, maybe. This is the deepest layer of Ronnie's heart? It's too dark in here. The noise that would indicate some human presence. And the surrounding environment are enclosed in darkness. So you came. Precisely the arrival time I calculated. Ugh. Ronnie. Ronnie is standing alone in the darkness. I don't see Lancer anywhere. You've made this efficient. Though I had expected enough of those rank and file enemies to bury the earth. This is an extremely dull reception, Ronnie 8. Vala is a mongrel, but she does have some spine. You certainly cannot stand against us alone. Indeed. The real me might have deployed some enemy programs around the leaf to defend against invaders. However, I wanted Vala Izanagi to come here. I gave her, I gave Lancer her stage, so that you wouldn't flee. The chance of avoiding confrontation with you is small, but there is still that one in ten thousand. If you knew the masters would be sacrificed, you would surely come. I could tell from past data. I would have probably come anyways, but uh, okay. She decided to execute the captured masters in order to lure me in with certainty? True, the tactic was successful. I panicked and came running here. Does Ronnie think I'm re I'm really so dangerous? Was having her SGs revealed really that humiliating? No, I'm not angry about the revelation of my SGs. Even I have a soul. I should thank you for giving me proof of that. It's late, but thank you very much. <laughs> Endowing a weapon with a human heart will bring it nothing but suffering. But if she herself is content, I will not argue the point. But is there any reason for this darkness? Filled with cold, dark malice as it is, like the bottom of a dried up well. I've decided the name of the third SG. Munchkinism. I absolutely cannot abide such a disgraceful classification. One of you must die for it. Huh? Wait, she hates me so much she wants to kill me because of that? Apparently so. <laughs> That's a difference in our values, I suppose. Not to throw you on the, under the bus, but uh, no, it was Jinniko who called it that anyway. I had nothing to do with it. I will not accept any complaints. Furthermore, I am BB Sentinel. You and I are enemies. I have invited you here because those who enter cannot leave without my permission. The following execution is her part. I've made you wait, Lancer. As promised, it is your turn now. <laughs> okay, leave everything to me, producer. I'll just keep stabbing all of them as much as you like. Now raise all the light you've got. Elizabeth the Blood Red Witch appears. Are we on TV? Lancer. Or, hold on. She let something incredible slip just now, didn't she? Nice reaction, Vali Izanagi. You face twitching with fear. That's my little squirrel. I'll mix you into my bloodbath, too. Now why don't you fall? Pros pros prostrate before the claws of the high-class daughter of dragons. 
Elizabeth Bathory! And it's revealed! Lancer is in fact... The Blood Countess, Elizabeth Bathory. Not aware of who that name is? Don't worry, we'll get exposition on who it is. If you do know who it is, now you know why she's batshit insane. She said it. She definitely declared it just now. Also, to explain for the sake of my honor, my face wasn't twitching from fear. It was because of how outrageously Lancer just said that. So, it was you after all, an original model for vampires on the level of Dracula. The crystallized form of a woman obsessed with the delusion of eternal youth. Gilgamesh isn't at all... Per perturbed? D perturbed? I don't know. But I can't hide my surprise. Servants usually hide their true names until the end. I really don't know what her aim is in grandly announcing it to her enemies like this. My aim? Why would I have aims in addressing livestock? You're nothing but another sacrifice. Being left to go to waste by me, their master, that's the greatest wish of all livestock, no? So you can die your gruesome death. It's fine. Your blood and your anguish will become my youth. You'll become the sustenance that lets my song resound throughout the world. Elizabeth Bathory, the Blood Countess of Hungary. A mass murderer who captured and killed people of her lands and bathed in their blood for the sake of her own youth. Face that one either. There we go. That's this girl's true identity. So yes, she is in fact Elizabeth Bathory. According to legend, Elizabeth Bathory would kidnap uh, young women, cut them open, bathe in their blood for the hopes of it granting her eternal youth. Uh, she's actually been in like uh, media before. For anyone who's ever seen like there was a horror movie called Stay Alive, its plot roughly. Uh, uh, was based on the supposed, like, legends of Elizabeth Bathory. So, yeah. Cool. But aren't there too many points here that differ from the legend? <laughs> that little lost squirrel face again. No, stay strong, Eliza. There are things you must do before you kill them. A final act of mercy for you, little squirrel. If you make that face, I'll allow you one last question. Please get rid of all your lingering attachments to the world. It's hard to get the blood of sacrifice who died with regrets to mix properly. Dying relieves stress after all. For this terrible, whimsical reason, Lancer compels me to ask a question. Following my enemies, uh... Expectations is annoying, but I've been waiting for this opportunity. My question is... We have three questions to ask. Why do you torture them so much? Why are you so obsessed with use? And the main question everyone is going to ask... Why are you trying to be an idol? Idol! Idol! What a lovely sound! That's what I want to ask! Why did pigs like you come up with such a wonderful occupation? I'm not interested in mongoloids, but I have to admit that as far as the entertainment industry goes, the Japanese are a superior people. Thinking about it now, I was so pitiful in life. All I knew how to do was torture. It was so boring it gave me headaches. But when I became a servant, I learned about Japanese idols from the moon cell. Really, it made such an impact. I thought I was seeing stars. I mean, idols, idols. It's perfect. Your job is to be fond over and all you have to do is be cute. This got instantly weird. 
If that's not my calling, what should, could it be? Standing on the stage and playing my song. I could have lost myself in how wonderful it felt. The more beautiful I am, the more men will cry out beautifully for me. The more I reign over them, the more women will wail for me. Men are waiting on me, paying tribute to me, and for being occasionally adorable. In short, men are pigs. Women are slaves, mothers, lovers, and ingredients for preserving my beauty. Beauty. In short, women are prey. My point is, being an idol is the greatest method of torture there is in this industry. I will take the world by storm. Her jagged dragon's teeth peek out at the corners of her mouth. Elizabeth is delighted, intoxicated by her own words. I can't see that selfish declaration as anything but criminal. <laughs> Gilgamesh's face just like, the fuck did I just hear? What? Why so quiet? Were you suddenly seized with fear upon learning of my terrifying nature? Too bad, slow for geese. I'm going to slice you and your master to pieces and use you to feel my bath. Hmm. I thought you might be a deviant who knew true pleasure. But in reality, you are exactly the little girl you appear to be. Vala, fight her however you like. I leave this disappointment to you. At this rate, only her singing will make a decent entertainment. Done talking? Then our last act will be my song! I'm worried. Why is Ronnie covering her ears? You may be livestock, but you're going to give your lives for the sake of my beauty. Please take this fabulous prize! This is the new never-before-heard melody of the Dragon Princess. Not even your life is enough to pay for this. The song of a goddess that reaches the heavens. I want to make note for the sake of argument, and because I don't want to try and sing this. I'm not going to be speaking her current words in character. I will just be reading them. For one and one only purpose. She's absolutely fucking terrible. Love is Dracul. I'm weak in the morning. Be gentle, okay? I wake up an hour past the depths of night. I'm hungry, living life. One piece of toast is not enough. Please give me jam with the mark of killer killer. Hunting is magical. I'm a head reaper. From Castle... Sestit? I don't recognize this one. It's like C-S-E-J-T-E. -E. I don't know what that is. I'll give it to you roughly. Let me lock you up again tonight. She may have a good voice, but her notes are completely off and her lyrics lack like even a sliver of style. Indeed, there may be no gods in this world! <laughs> Yes. All right. I've changed my mind, mongrel. I said it didn't interest me, but I am wholly willing to bring that thing down this second. If that song is her only merit, there's nothing but death left for her. No, death isn't far enough. As Golden P, I will have her correct the entire thing from the beginning. Apparently, uh, Gilgamesh has recently just become a producer. 
Gilgamesh has gotten unusually fired up. The simple fact that such a beautiful voice is going to such a waste is so sacrilegious it makes my blood boil. G Golden P? What is this? What a gorgeous name! If you don't look if you if you don't look carefully, he looks like some completely tasteless. And over you, Riche. This guy might be some kind of big promoter. Gulp. Are you finished here? Then let's begin. Give the criminals the requisite punishment. About time Ronnie said something. I had actually forgotten she was kinda here. My heart has no main subject. Lancer, the world wears you as its leading actress. Your song, even so, here you are without a doubt the greatest star there is. Sing as much as you like. Yes, of course, Ronnie, and I'll leave the producer's work to you. Stage on! Music start! The live show begins now! With this stage, I'll make you lose yourself in pleasure! Here she comes. I don't know about her singing, but Lancer, Elizabeth Bathory's cruelty is the real thing. If we don't want there to be any more sacrifices, we have to stop this blood-sucking princess here. Which of course means it's time for a DEATH BATTLE! Gilgamesh versus Lancer. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rabble one. Let's rock! Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra Triple C. If you liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the labyrinth fight our way to the other side with the egotistical Gilgamesh at my side and crush all those who would stand in my way. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta!